Hey guys, Jay Cini here from Australian Wealth. Thank you so much for joining me on a brand new video. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about something which is shrouded in mystery uh, that a lot of investors haven't ever considered, and that is short selling. <music> So you might have heard of the term short selling before, but really what is short selling? So many investors and traders can only profit from the market going up. But what if I told you there was a way that you could actually make money from the market going down? This is what short selling is. Many investors philosophy is to buy low and sell high, which makes sense. Now short selling flips this on its head and it becomes sell high and buy low. So same thing, but just swapped around. I think that the hardest part of short selling for most people to understand is that you are selling something before you actually buy it. So when you're shorting a stock, the best thing that you can do is to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps to get the video out to more people so that they can get this information and uh, become more informed about the market. So let's run through an example which I think will help a lot of people to understand the process. So let's say that my mate Joe, he has 100 lemons and I think that lemons are going to become less valuable over the next few weeks. So what I do is I borrow 100 lemons from Joe and I sell them at the current price. So let's say that the current price of 100 lemons is $100. So I've borrowed Joe's lemons and I've sold them. So now I have zero lemons and I have $100. So that's great and all, but I still need to give Joe his lemons back. So we have a few weeks go past and lo and behold, the price of lemons goes down. So now let's say 100 lemons is now only worth $90 instead of $100. So I see this and I decide this is a great time to get those lemons. So what happens is I go and buy lemons for $90 and I have 100 lemons which I give back to Joe. So I sold them for 100 and I bought them for 90, which means that Joe has his lemons back and I now have $10 in profit. And that is how short selling works. If the price goes down, that is where you are going to make money. So let's say that you short $1,000 worth of shares and the share price of that particular company gets cut in half, it goes down 50%. You're going to make $500 on that short sale. So this is exactly how short selling works, except a broker will often charge a premium for letting you borrow those shares to short sell. So let's say that I'm wrong. I borrow the lemons from Joe and I sell them for $100, but the price of lemons goes up to $110. Now, what happens is I still have $100, but 100 lemons are now more expensive than $100. So I have to rebuy Joe's 100 lemons, except this time I have to buy those lemons at $110. So I've actually given Joe his lemons back, but I'm out of pocket $10 now. Now this is the point where short selling can get really dangerous because your losses can be completely unlimited. There's quite a few examples of people shorting large amounts of stock and that trade goes against them and they end up having to pay back a lot of money. So when you buy a stock, the worst case scenario is that it goes to zero and you lose 100% of your money. With the worst case scenario of short selling, your losses and your worst case scenario is completely unlimited. You can lose 100%, you can lose 1000%, or you could lose even more if that stock price goes up against your short sale. Because whatever the price is, you have to rebuy the shares at that price. So let me provide you with an example. Uh, some of you guys might have heard this one, but there's an investor named Joe Campbell, and uh, he placed a not so lucky short bet against uh, Carlo Bio Pharmaceuticals. So he put $37,000 in as a short position. So he sold the shares short. Now it was only a day later that the shares shot up about 800% after touring pharmaceutical CEO, Martin Shkreli, uh, some of you guys might remember him, uh, gained control of the majority of that company's shares. So Joe Campbell had to buy these shares back 
at an 800% price increase, which means he lost hundreds of thousands of dollars just by placing a short bet of $37,000. And this is why shorting stock can be very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Because in that particular case, he's basically put himself into financial ruin by placing that bet. It's not always negative, however. Even as recently as this year, Bill Ackman, he's a very famous, well-known investor, uh, made a big bet against the US market and the damage that the corona would do against stocks. Uh, so he ended up making out like an absolute bandit in that market crash back in March. Uh, so the market tanked uh, quite significantly as a lot of people would remember. And he made 2.6 billion uh, shorting and placing put options against his portfolio as a hedge. So he paid about 26 million in premiums on put options for the stock, but ended up making $2.6 billion. So put options are similar to shorting, it's just basically you're betting that the stock price is going to go down. So of course there's positives and negatives to each side of short selling. Uh, you guys might have seen recently that Tesla has gone up quite dramatically. Um, a lot of this is people having to liquidate short positions because obviously when you sell shares, at some stage you have to buy them back and at some point, uh, in the case of Tesla, if that company continues to go up, then you are going to have to cut your losses. And this can result in a short squeeze. You not only have buying pressure uh, from people that legitimately want to buy the stock, but also from people that have to buy the stock to cover short positions. And this can create some massive moves in share prices. So should you short stocks? P probably not, um, unless you see the next Blockbuster or the next GoPro, <laughs> Jeremy. Um, you need to be seriously confident in that position that it is going to go down over time. So of course, as usual, this is not financial advice. If you are looking to short stocks or do anything like that, you need to completely do your own research and make your own decisions because it can be quite risky. And even then, you can still get burned on some of these companies. Like for example, uh, there's many points where companies like JCPenney, even Hertz, look like they're about to go bankrupt, but people have just bought up the stock massively and driven the price up to extreme levels. And even if you're right, even if that company is gonna go bankrupt, you can get totally burned by the movement in that share price. So it's just something to be really wary of if you are going to short sell a stock. So remember the risks, unlimited losses, you can only gain 100% of your money on that short position if the company goes completely bankrupt and you're also paying a premium for borrowing those shares. So I wanna know what you guys think. Are there any stocks that you think are worth shorting in this market right now? I'd love to hear your comments and see what you guys think. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps to get the videos out to more people and uh, stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you later. Oh, 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 oh,